excuse the tall grass as it kept on raining to the point you know where it just gets too wet for me to cut the grass so I do have a lot of grass growth around my pump and all but I realized that was a lot cheaper just to buy a big thing of chlorinator instead of those um, buckets that are only have half the size I got these stabilizer tablets, as they're called cleaning tablets now. I think it's time that I got another one of these because this one's starting to dry rot pretty bad. But I'm just about ready to fill it with the stabilizer tablets. It's like a whole pile of dead leaves at the bottom of the pool. How did you get in there? What I like to do when it comes to something as big as that is uh, overfill the pool and just get the um, hose attached to the vacuum uh, head and uh, just, just get a uh, siphon going to where you know it just siphons itself. That way I could use that to vacuum up all these leaves instead of it constantly going into the pump and clogging up the little basket in my pump. And by the time I get all that done, it'll be at the right level where the skimmer basket is. Now what I did is I started at the uh, beginning of this month. Today is the uh, 11th of uh, May, 2017. Um, the water was um, like a dark green color. And it was getting ready to rain too. So what I did is I took the uh, shock and um, put the pump on recirculate. And what I did is I slowly poured shock into the skimmer basket very, very slow because if you pour it too fast, it would just blast out of the jet and just sink all the way to the bottom with it un underneath the jet. So pour it in slow and then it circulates around the whole entire pool. What I did, um, how much shock I put in, I put 20 scoops. Yeah, 20 scoops. Because it was already dark green and it was getting ready to rain. So that's why I did that. So after about a, um, a day of letting the pump recirculate, I switched it to filter and let it filter for two days and then I backwashed it you know getting all the um, algae that now turned white out of the filter and then I put it back on filter waited two more days and then did the same thing and then I uh, put six more scoops of shock through the uh, filter again I mean through the um, skimmer basket again while it was on recirculate and then it came to the state right here, as you see. So what I have it on, I have it filtering again. <clears throat> if we get a couple more hot days, I might be able to go in the pool with my uh, with my vacuum attachment there with the uh, hose and um, start vacuuming the bottom of the pool. But I'm going to use, you know that siphon method that I was talking about where I don't put all this crap in my in my uh, filter I mean in my, in my pump because if you have any idea how many times I'm going to have to open up the pump and dump that little basket out because that's a lot of dead leaves right there in that one little area it'll probably be about that probably be about maybe probably 10 times I'd have to open up my pump just to clean that little basket out if I just do this just by using an electric pump I mean, just by using the pool pump to vacuum all this out, so I'm going to 
use that cipher method that I did last year and it works really well. So you can see that there's some, you know, dead algae that's still on the ground. I mean, I mean on the bottom of the pool. You know, that, that little bit I'll vacuum up through the pump itself. But all this heavy shit right there that's in the middle of the pool, I'm going to use the siphon method. I'll make a video of that. What I'm going to do is probably put my camera and set it up right there. And you'll see, I mean, you'll see the, um, the leaves get dumped out through the hose. That's one good thing about our above ground pool is that you could actually, you know, do the siphon method with the uh, hose. Now, if it was a in, uh, built in pool, you wouldn't be able to do that because the siphon wouldn't really work all that well. So that's one good thing about an above ground pool is you could do that and avoid constantly, you know, taking apart your pump and dumping a little basket out just by backing up all this shit that's at the bottom of the pool right there. So yeah, that's what I have so far. things all nice and brittle I think this holds about five tablets if I'm not mistaken That's four five I'll just put okay all right six I thought it was five. that I had in my first house had a chlorinator like Jake 18's pool has. And I missed that. So for now, I guess until I decide to attach one onto this one, I'm just gonna use a little float. So yeah, that's the update on the pool so far. Also, for next year, I'm not going to have to deal with all these uh, leaves because I am going to invest in getting a pool cover for this pool. And there was a tree here, as you can see, part of it's still on that little clothesline right there. I had that tree removed. So that will be one tree that won't be dumping. That will be one less tree that would be dumping leaves in a pool. Still got all these damn things there, so that's why I'm going to need a pool cover. But yeah. That's all for now, as far as the pool goes. I'll um, have an up more update video on this uh, later on. So until then, take care.